Hi everyone, welcome back to Best Laid Plans. And this week I wanted to do a planner spread that was a little more of like a how to plan um, kind of spread uh, with you guys. I have a couple days more of like a vacation time this week. And I don't know about you, but I consider myself to be a type A personality, which means that we have a really hard time relaxing. Um, so I tend to use vacation time to try to enjoy hobbies and get some things done around the house, but I also want to like plan my time so that I can kind of reset from essentially what has been a crazy semester. Um, <laughs> so um, that's what this week's spread is going to be about. And I wanted it to have a like a Luna Moth uh, kind of celestial theme. So I have some stickers here. These are from Martina's Sticker Company, um, some of the larger ones there. And then I have this washi stickers. These are from Ramblin' Thorn. And I also have these bookshelf stickers from Bramblin' Thorn, which are pretty cool. So um, I wanted to go ahead and use those. And I thought that would be nice too, because I have been doing a lot of reading. I um, just got back into reading after a really long time. Um, let me tell you, if you are someone who was raised with, like, get good grades all the time, be an academic, peer-reviewed literature, nonfiction, that kind of thing, and, like, that's what you know, and it, it can really kill your love of reading. And recently, I have just, like, been consuming so much fantasy series and getting just back into reading for the sake of reading and not having it need to be a super, like, important academic thing. Um, and so I've been reading, like, just a ton. And so I am... I've also been writing again, which I haven't done since college. Um, so I am very excited to kind of have this week to work on some of those things. Um, so what I'm going to be doing with this week's spread um, is using this vacation week essentially to plan out, okay, here's some of the things I need to get done, but also what are things that I would like to do? What are things that are kind of like self-care or just things that I would enjoy um, that I can put down um, and really use the spread to plan for my time so that I am feeling like I'm getting the most out of my vacation. Um, I would love to just be able to be like, decorate the whole thing um, and not do anything. But I know that that's not my personality. And I just have a really hard time with that. So I am I am going to plan this week out. This is from uh, Assembly Gilded. I put on my celestial theme stickers in here. So if it's like stars, that kind of thing, um, anything like that, I it's in here. So I'm going to start by putting down the washi strips first and just kind of figuring out where I want them because we are going to be writing on this. I want to, um, with you guys. So I want to show you everything. So let's do maybe like that. I don't know if I'm going to get any outside washi or not, but I, I do know I probably am going to get some like stickers, butterfly stickers, star stickers, something like that. And I could have put that a little bit more over. I'm just going to trim it because I like where it is. And what I'm going to be doing with the, um, just the washi and the decoration, I want to separate this top part and the center part here um, so that the center part is like more decoration. And then this is like things that I need to do. Um, and then this is like just fun stuff um, that I want to do down here. So that's that's sort of what I'm doing. And I like to use um, vertical layout, but if you had a different layout, like you could do what like with a color block layout or something, you could just use washi or other decoration to like delineate areas um, for that. I like vertical because it's got three boxes. I can easily just say, hey, this is going to be decoration and these are going to be where I write things. So that's what I'm using that for. So I'm going to try and finish this up. And I will, of course, link all of the shops that I'm using in the description box. Okay, so now we have the sections all done. 
and I'll put away here. Um, so I want to add some of the decoration now. And I really liked this sticker sheet from Martina's Sticker Company because it had these like hanging crystals and they were really like delicately done. Um, like the kiss cut is like really, really nice. Just They look beautiful and delicate. So I'm gonna put this one here. And the colors all match really well. I'm basically just getting my decoration done first this time. Okay, so I zoomed out a little bit here so you could see the finished part where I have the decoration and I am quite pleased. So I will be, um, oh, I need to trim one little sticker, one second. So I really like how this looks. I like the celestial vibes. I think it's really pretty. I am going to add some of these bookshelf stickers because I think they're absolutely gorgeous. And I feel like I wanna put them maybe like toward the top here almost like right underneath where like the days are. And I don't mind that I'm covering up some of these like dates and things up here, like I know what it says, so I don't mind putting decoration over it. Right, I'm gonna save the rest of these. And I used both these sheets, so that's really cool. And now I'm probably going to go just pull a happy planner book. Um, probably something that has this kind of like whimsical celestial aesthetic. Maybe reach for the stars. I'm not sure. I will go and see what I have and come back and show you. Okay, I am back and I did end up pulling reach for the stars because it just, it matches the color tones the best. So I am going to be pulling some various stickers just for certain things. And I really liked this one that says find your balance. So you see, I might just put that right here, like on the weekend, very cute. And then I have this purple moon and it's got little stars. And I thought that would be really pretty to put here, right by May. Just to kind of balance all the colors out. And now the fun part. I am going to go through and I really like in this um, planner sticker set that they have create, dreams, magic, read, <laughs> rest. Um, and I think that that is going to work really perfect. So I am going to put the plan sticker here on the weekend because that's when I do my planner spreads. And we want to do read. And I think with read, I want to go ahead and put the like a thing with like a box. So yeah, let's do this. And y'all, I just want to say I'm really proud of myself because I know that there's some people who are like, I read about 300 books a year and like, good for you. <laughs> but um, I was in, an, I've just been in a really bad slump and I guess I'm doing like chores down here because I've already put like fun stuff up here. Um, I've been just in a really bad reading slump and I was struggling to get through four books a year. And I know that sounds pathetic and it is, but for at least for me, like it's just... It's been really, really, really hard. Um, oh, I like this one that says love. I'm going to put that down here. And maybe I can write some like fun memory stuff here. Um, it has just been really, really hard for me. Um, I'm not the kind of person who is easily going to finish a book 
because I I have like to fight that analytical mindset um, that says if you read for pleasure, then it's not productive. And that has been something that I struggle with like so hard, but I am getting over it. Um, and I've even like reading books that like have are nothing in my comfort zone whatsoever. I just finished a book by an author named Carrie Elks and it's literally like a like a southern country Christmas romance thing and that's like the opposite of like what I usually read which is like morally grave fantasy world stuff um <laughs> but it was nice it was it was something different and I thought it was really fun and I don't know I just had a good time so let's see, let's do read. Let me get another read sticker. One fun thing that I'll be reading this week is a draft that my friend sent me of someone else's like uh, historical romance manuscript. Um, so it's not published or anything like that. Um, they're just kind of, I guess, looking for feedback or just encouragement and I'm I'm on it like I want to like inspire people to just achieve their dreams have fun with it and I'm gonna put let's see I want to go back to that one page here's another read basically I'm gonna be reading pretty much every day and it's been amazing I've read like seven books in April which is insane um, it is insane for me. It's insane. Like, I can't believe I read that many books. Um, so I have like all these things written down. The other thing that I have been doing is writing and I guess I could use the sticker that says create for that. Um, I'm trying to write fantasy romance cause that's like the genre that I had wanted to get into creative writing again. I will say that my previous way of doing things with that would be um, like really, really dark, dark romance, like just like gothic period romance. I grew up reading V.C. Andrews and Edgar Allan Poe and that kind of thing. So that is what I kind of have in mind in terms of like writing, but I'm trying to do different things. So, um, and I, I feel like I've always wanted to write a fantasy story, so that is what I'm doing, and it's it's interesting. <laughs> it's an interesting process. So I want to take this box here, and I'm going to let's see. Let me put it here, and then. Create. And then when I finish reading whatever, I'll just write the titles here. So we got most of the stuff for like Wednesday and things done. I want to go ahead and add some more. So like, let's do Thursday. Because Thursday is the last day of my vacation. So it's like kind of sad. Put that there and maybe do another big writing thing. Now in terms of like some functional stickers and everything like that, I don't know if that I have anything in here that's like checklist, but I know that I have some of these type of stickers, the like uh, the little dots. So we're gonna use dots. If you have checklist boxes, you can use checklist for this. Um, basically I've kind of left the top part where it's like rest and fun things and all of that like blank and then anything that's like work stuff is going to be bulleted list. So, um, and when I say work stuff, I mean like obviously on vacation I still have like housework and things to do. Um, I also have someone coming to fix my garage door because it got damaged during one of the storms we had and... Um, for my birthday, that's my mom's gift to me, um, is getting my garage door fixed. So thanks, mom. Um, so let's go ahead. I'm going to add some things here. And 
Normally, I would just use icon stickers for a lot of the household stuff, but I wanted to write this out so that you all could see the process. If you want to use icon stickers, I think like that's absolutely like do that. Um, but I'm just going to try and use what I have here. I haven't used, I've been using kits and things, so it's nice to kind of pull from Happy Planner books since I have a lot of them. So it's just going to be like two things a day um, just to kind of ground me <laughs> um, so that I don't feel like I'm just doing nothing because I'll get anxious if I do that because I don't know why. Like it's just I can't, I'm very restless and I have a hard time just like doing nothing. So if I structure it, then I'll feel like, okay, I had a productive week. I did things. Um, I'm, and, and, and I didn't waste my time. So that is how I feel about that. So let's just do maybe two each here. And again, this is just a setup for like doing a spread that is more focused on specific activities. So like it is a decorative spread, but I want to use it to plan out a week where I have free time, which is not often, <laughs> but no. So let's do, for this one, I'll do this yellow. And I have tweezers somewhere, guys. I don't know where they are. I'm just using my hands. I'm gonna put, um, the other two over here okay so there we go now I've got my kind of work stuff down here and I'm going to put this I want to find something that says like notes or remember or something like that I feel like I have some so that'll be like for the action items so I want to try and I finished the book today. I'll write that in and then I'm going to read my friend's, um, friend's draft, I guess, um, tomorrow. And then I want to finish, um, or try to finish in Wednesday, between Wednesday and Thursday, finish Throne of Glass, which is, uh, probably Sarah J. Moss's the next kind of book series I'm starting. Um, the the weird mountain romance thing must have been like a palate cleanser for me. It, I kept getting suggestions on Instagram because now I'm following like the book talk people and <laughs> it kind of took over my for you. Uh, and so, yeah, that happened. Uh, let's see. I want to find something to put here that's more like a quote or something. I uh, just feel like that needs something there. And then I'm pretty sure decorations should be finished. And we'll just go ahead and... Do the rest. Okay, so I settled on this one, which is, oh, what a wonderful week, because I feel like that is perfect. And I'm gonna put that right here. All right, so I might add some more stickers later, but for now, I just wanna go through and I just wanna add the things that I'm gonna be doing throughout the week. And basically, instead of like cramming all of my chores onto Wednesday or Tuesday night, which tends to be what I do during the week when I'm working, I want to spread things out and um, just have fun with it. So today, for instance, I am going to, or I did, because um, this is Monday when I'm doing this. <laughs> so this is kind of a recap, but... I'm planning out the rest of the week. So what I did was I vacuumed and I put away laundry because I, I did the laundry last night, Sunday night. My light is being kind of spastic, so I apologize if there's flickering. I am trying to adjust it so it's not doing that. Um... And then Tuesday, I've got, um, we're going to do run dishes. And then it'll be the rest of the meal prep for the week as well. Um, 
So maybe not in that order, but basically anytime that I do meal prep of any kind, I'm going to do the dishes probably the same day um, because I'm using all the pots and pans and everything. And I have to cook pretty much everything that I eat. Um, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to find something that's like pre-made that's like an organic keto type thing that just foregoes soy. Um, but having an allergy to it is kind of a nightmare um, and I can't eat pre-processed anything um and I hate it <laughs> um I just like I just want to eat donuts um but like I can't so I have to do a lot of meal prep for during the week to cook my own stuff bake from scratch that kind of stuff so I'll be doing that on Tuesday just kind of enjoying that and then kind of reading in between um let's see so Wednesday I've got the garage door being repaired so I think that's 10 o'clock, um, garage door repair. I'm just gonna write, um, mom visit because that means that the dogs are all gonna be coming over, so just kind of hanging around. And I'm just gonna write friend's manuscript. Cause I don't want to give the title away or anything. It's literally an unpublished manuscript. <laughs> um, and then I will write the name of that Carrie Elks book. Um, I don't even remember what it's called. I remember that. Like I, I was like, why am I reading this? It's like, cause I, it's, I, it's somebody's book boyfriend. It's not my book boyfriend. I do not, I'm not a country like Hallmark Christmas farm guy kind of thing but like that was the book so it was a good palette cleanser before I go straight back into like just like hardcore fantasy um so I'll write the name when I figure it out um and then let's see over here under create so let's do um I'm gonna put write 50 pages which I did. I am extremely shocked that I did that because um, it just kind of happened. Like, I guess my, by reading really did cure my writer's block. Um, I don't share any of like my writing and everything. It's more of like a, a way that I just express myself, I guess. But um, that is what I'm going to be doing. So I'm, I set aside time for that this week, basically. So, and then um, art journal catch up. And what that is, the art journal catch up, I have the spring issue of the Bella Grace magazine, which is just writing prompts and journaling. I use my big happy planner for that. Um, so I may film a video where I am using my happy planner and repurposing it as a journal. I have a big horizontal happy planner I use for that. Um, so that might be something you'll see later this month, um, just from this week and uh, doing those spreads. And then I want to do, let's see, um, we'll do a write another 50 pages. I'll just set that as a goal. And uh, let's see. I'll probably um, film and edit videos on Thursday as well. For I Thursday, that is the day before I go back to work. So I will probably do a um, email inbox clean sweep and what that is is it's not me answering emails or anything like that um i just go into my work email and i go through and i just like any kind of like random notification from linktree spam all of that just get rid of that organize things that do need to be done where they need to go in my inbox so that when I come back on Friday morning, I can actually respond to those emails and I'm not like feeling horribly overwhelmed by the fact that I missed literally four days of work emails. Um, and email is how people reach me. Um, so it's, I usually get I mean, it's like over a hundred emails a day. It's not, it, um, I mean, it's, it's a lot of emails. So, um, that's why I do that. It's not me actually actively working off the clock. It's, it's literally just like getting rid of anything that isn't like actual email and, and just, so I don't open up my inbox and it's like, you have 400 messages. Um, because I am one of those people who I cannot have any notifications. Everything has to be clear. That's me. Um, so there is that. So email, inbox, clean sweep. Um, and then 
<sighs> I guess um, just taking time to do like rest and self-care. Um, so like for that, that could be something like painting my nails or just watching a movie, things like that. Um, but basically making sure that I get enough sleep um, and I'm not like distracted because I don't want to go back to work and be like, ah! Um, so that'll be what that's for. And then on Friday, in terms of work, I have to um, send out... I'll, I'll be doing a new student advising sequence. Um, that's just putting newly admitted students into our regular advising sequence. So they're assigned a faculty member who's an advisor and they get information on registering for courses, things like that. That's what, what I do. Um, and then I also would be sending out um, send invite for the May welcome session. So like our new student orientation. And then on the weekend, on Saturday, I would be doing that session. And then Sunday, I've just kind of left blank. I don't have necessarily anything prepared yet. Um, that's normally when I'll do things like just do more cleaning or I will refresh my hair color. Um, so I will probably leave that blank and then just as I figure out what's going to happen, write stuff in. Basically, that's how I've done this. I've separated the top from the bottom and um, I've done decoration here. I could easily have put that anywhere or if I had a horizontal layout, I could have just put decoration on like the sides and then ha had it separated with washi or something. But I really like how this turned out. Um, and basically, this is how my, my brain process is like setting up a week where I basically can do whatever I want. If I were traveling, I might write in like destinations instead of books. Um, so that's something I could do. Um, and there's still room that I can add more if I need to. So I really enjoyed this. I am going to add one thing here under this kind of like this love um, right here. I want to add um, just spending time with my pets. And honestly, um, being more active because I have used like, it's not written in here, but pretty much every day for the past two weeks, I have done a cardio workout and I don't know why, like I just did. It's not, I'm not like, I don't do any specific plan or anything like that. I literally just like turn on music and dance or lift weights or something. Um, and I like it. I like walking outside. So like, I've just really enjoyed that and being active um, and sometimes when work is insane I cannot do anything and I'm sitting there all day and so I cannot like just come from work and then go into like sitting um, I have to do something or I'll get like all cranky so I have been basically just like completely offline detached and working out like crazy. So that's that's what's been happening. This is what I'm doing. Um, this is my little vacation reset. Um, I feel like I am getting to be creative, that I'm getting to have fun. I am still getting different chores and things done. Um, and oh, you know what I need to do? I need to put cat litter here. Probably take the trash out. That's Wednesday. See, you just look at things and you forget and you just write them in. That's. That's what your planner's for. So I'll go get another little dot and stick it here. Um, I think that I do wanna add a couple more decorations, um, maybe like a Luna Moth or some sticker here, because I just feel like it's too much white space. It's making me not feel good. So I'm gonna get something to put there, maybe like a die cut or something. So I did go back and I added a couple more bullets um, just like work on the budget. And then I added when I want to do maybe like guided journals. So I'll probably do that tonight and just finish those and um, do my art journal and weekly journal tomorrow and my reading journal after I finish Throne of Glass so that I can kind of catch up on my reading journal entries. And I added these two um, like butterfly stickers that I had. These are just from like Amazon or somewhere. And I think that they match the colors really well. So I'm very, very happy with this. I think that if you are going to have a staycation and you're like me and type A and 
you just feel like you want to do things certain days. It's just kind of like a choose your own adventure. And I'm really happy with, I just feel really relaxed. Like looking at this makes me feel relaxed. So I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. It was a little chatty. Um, and I just wanted to do something fun and productive for my week off for majority of the week off. Um, and I think that this is a perfect summer reset. So thank you so much for watching and I will have another video coming next Wednesday. I hope you will subscribe, like this video, comment below if you are doing anything special for a vacation or if you're doing nothing, which is probably preferable. <laughs> um, and I will see you next week. Have a great one. Bye.